March 9th, eight weeks out, 54 days before the competition. Let's get this started. My name is Robbie and welcome to Better Than Best, the vlog where I take you along with me as I prep for a physique and classic physique competition that I'm doing in two months. So I've got roughly eight weeks as the intro uh, kind of touched on. And so I'm going to be breaking down three different things for my day to day. It's the habit, the diet, the exercise as well. So we're going to go through all those three things little by little each video. And uh, so let's get it started because today is chest day and I start really, really early. Take it away. All right, guys, it is 6 a.m. Uh, waking up really early to start the day. It's my normal waking time of 5 a.m. But yeah, daylight like savings time spring forward. I'm going to be cooking some eggs, packing my lunch, which is just two pieces of chicken breast. It's going to be on rice. It's going to be around 12 ounces uh, in total. And uh, I'm going to be doing chest during uh, over my lunch pretty much at work. And I'm going to be hitting that hard. And what else is happening? That's about it. Okay. We'll see. Oh man, this just happened. Just slipped. <laughs> One egg wasted. Here it is, folks. Meal number three. Day just chicken stuff. <laughs> Gotta keep eating. All right, so we're gonna be talking a bit about my chest workout. So for today, really every workout is different. Uh, I always do things as I go, like you know, what I want to target, like the upper pec, the side over here, like it really depends on how my shoulder feels as well. If I'm feeling like I can push. Hey, Figgy, check this out. We have a special guest. Ooh, say hi. Hello. Oh, come on, say hi. So he's going to help me demonstrate the push up. No? Okay, no, never mind. All right, bye. <laughs> All right. So for today, what I did, I was feeling really, really strong. I had my pre-workout. Um, I've eaten like two, three meals. I think three meals already. By the time I got to lunch, which is where I, when I usually take the full hour to work out, um, I'm already raring to go. And we're going to hit it first. We're doing incline dumbbells. So that's 30, 35 degree angle, uh, six sets, eight to 15 reps. We're pyramiding up in the weight, uh, super set it with weighted cross body crossover. So I usually just grab like tens, dumbbells, or like just the plates, hold them right, right here. And we're bringing it up and center just to get that flexion right over here and up here. So, it kind of looks like a front delt raise, but really what you're doing is you're just squeezing in. It's as if you have cables and you're just bringing it over right there. Uh, next, we have hammer presses. So that's, five, uh, sorry, four sets, 10 to 12 reps, supersetted with close grip push-ups on a low bench. So what you're trying to do is you're gonna be pushing like this, up so like the bench is going to be flat or you can do it on an incline as well to hit the upper pec as well so you're bringing it up like this and then immediately you're doing narrow narrow push-ups just pushing upward so it's kind of hitting your lower um pec so that way you get that full you know that full defining line flexion right there 
So the goal for uh, for all these exercises is, of course, to pump as much blood as possible to the pecs. Like just really, really focus and just squeeze, squeeze all those reps out. Uh, next, we have our incline flies. So that's just four sets, 10 to 15 reps. But really, um, again, with that, you're trying to pyramid up in the weight, but get that really nice stretch to get this this line like just pull it over like this open up the pecs and then bring it up bring it up and just like squeeze right there just pump as much blood as possible and for the last uh the last exercise we're going to be doing cable crossovers so for cable crossovers really i don't really cross my arms like this it's kind of like e uneven like kind of awkward so i just aim to go straight down so you're going from this, like shoulders backs to get that nice stretch, then bring it in and low, like really low. I don't know if you can see, yeah, there we go. So you're kind of doing this. So you do that for three to four sets, uh, 15 to 20 reps. Do as much as you can with, you know, a really nice weight that gives you that good resistance. And yeah, the more reps that you do really, like you're just, Again, pumping, pumping more and more blood into this area. And that's where the growth is going to start. All right. So clearly, I'm really, really, I get really, really excited when I talk about the workouts. Uh, that is what I think about almost every time because like my meals are always timed. I already prep them in the morning. So I know exactly what I'm eating. And I have this app on my phone to count my macros and I'm already pre-adding all the food there so I know I'm hitting my targets for the for the day. So right now my targets are, I'm doing 200 to 210 uh, grams of protein. I'm trying to stay around the 100 gram carb range uh, only because like I'm trying to cut right now just for the competition, just trying to, you know, slowly bring that down as well as the fats. Right now the fats I'm still keeping around 40 to 50 grams a day. Uh, that is still pretty high, but I mean, it's eight weeks out. Hopefully, you know, we see what my, my how my body reacts to the slight change this week um, of upping that protein past the 200 mark. Uh, we're going to bring that down next week and then we're going to, yeah, br or sorry, bring down the fats a bit more, uh, maybe increase the carbs depending on how uh, sluggish I feel or whatnot really it's you know you got to go with what you feel each of us we react differently to different macro ratios and it's all about the ratios really and I'm gonna be talking about macro ratios uh, how to compute your BMR in the next video only because I think that you know it's true what they say 80% of what you're gonna be doing is the diet 80% of your whole like the whole nutrition, the whole habit, the whole habit of fitness. Um, it's all about what you eat. So uh, that is going to be the topic of the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys hit subscribe, hit that bell icon as well so you're notified of when, you know, videos come up. If you're on Instagram, I'm on Instagram as well as Robbie MML. That's Robbie MML, Robbie with a Y. And you can find me there. I post a lot of photos, videos, all of that stuff as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. So till next time, I hope to see you guys soon.